world-famous Skunk Works development team has released a new video celebrating 75 years of cranking out some of the most amazing military aircraft the world has ever seen. The quick clip shows off aircraft from the early days of Lockheed Martin's Advanced Development Programs Division, aka the Skunk Works, and offers glimpses of new warplanes we may see in the next 10 to 20 years. The Advanced Development Programs Division of Lockheed was headed by legendary designer and aerospace manager Clarence Kelly Johnson. Over the decades, Johnson and his team in Burbank, CA cranked out the F-80 Shooting Star, America's first jet fighter, the U-2 spy plane, the SR-71 Blackbird, and the F-117A stealth fighter. The skunk in addition to showing some of the more famous skunk works designs, the video also teases several new ones. At the colon, 44 mark, the video reveals concept R for what might be Lockheed Martin's penetrating counter-air aircraft, the plant replacement for the F-22A Raptor. The aircraft lack vertical stabilizers, of which the F-22 and F-35 have two each. The two engine eat aircraft are also flying fast, each trailing a pair of shock diamonds from the engines. At the colon, 46 mark, the video shows a twin-engined unmanned vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The plane, apparently designed to take off and land in rough country far from established air bases, is shown descending into a straight wall canyon. The aircraft looks like it uses two ducted fans built into the wings for vertical lift, and probably has one or two conventional engines in the rear. The ducted fans have retra a totally different concept appears at the colon, 47 mark. A spider autonomous drone can be seen crawling on the skin of the Lockheed Martin hybrid airship. Spider is designed to locate and patch holes and other damage on the airship's exterior. The hybrid airship itself appears at colon, 53. The colon, 56 mark shows off a hybrid wing body design similar to the X-48C scale technology demonstrator. As opposed to the traditional tube on top of a wing airplane design, a hybrid wing design gradually blends the wing into the body. The result is a man to ray look that creates greater internal volume for carrying cargo. Greater wing body surface area also allows for more fuel-efficient flight, boosting the aircraft's range. This design appears to be a short takeoff and landing military transport designed to fly from non-runways, in this case, what looks like a dry lake bed in the Nevada desert. It would also make a great aerial refueling tanker. Although the aircraft has the sleek look of a stealth aircraft it also has two huge engines in the back that would send back large radar returns. Ready for something completely different? At the 1 o'clock mark, the video shows off what is almost certainly the latest version of the Lockheed Martin Compact Fusion Reactor. More than any other Lockmart project aviation, the clip at 104 shows another advanced fighter design. While this one lacks the arrow-like shape of the plane and still lacks horizontal stabilizers, it seems to have hybrid horizontal vertical stabilizers built in the rear. The aircraft canopy also appears large enough to accommodate a crew of two, making it possible this is some sort of strike aircraft. Alternately, the second crewman could control and coordinate friendly drones or even drone swarms. Finally, the video ends with the Lockheed Marin SR-72 dashing off into the distance. LM is known to be working on the SR-72, which, like its predecessor, is thought to be a high-speed, high-altitude strategic reconnaissance aircraft. The idea isn't exactly secret, Lockheed Martin has a web page for the SR-72 and even describes in detail the advanced turbine-based advanced combined cycle propulsion system that can sustain the SR-72 from conventional takeoff all the way up to hypersonic speeds. According to the company, the SR-72 is taking research cues from the HTV-2 hypersonic test vehicle, which briefly attained a top speed of Mach 20.